Good evening, everybody. My name is Sumer Khan, and I am the CEO and founder of SIR VR Studios or Server Studios. Whichever you prefer, I'm okay with. All right, so um, just to get really quickly started about me, um, my background, I studied biomedical engineering, and um, currently I work uh, as you know, IT consultant. Um, but that's not it, that's not all that I do. Uh, eventually I got excited by a Thank you. Um, I got excited by the, the VR industry, and uh, especially the HTC Vive. It just, you know, mystified me, and uh, I wanted to just jump headfirst into it and start working on uh, a project in there. So um, I'm going to cover a couple things today, uh, including uh, who my team is, um, the market overview, uh, the game projects that we've worked on, and the current one that I'm really excited to talk about, uh, our business model, go-to market strategy, as well as traction and the ads. So uh, the team uh, includes uh, a couple members, AJ, Eman, CJ, myself, Chris, Cyrus, Joe, and Michael. AJ and Eman, you can't keep them in the same room with the Street Fighter machine. There's a huge rivalry between them. <laughs> um, so market overview. Uh, what my target is to get to HTC Vive home users who are enthusiasts, um, and also VR lounges. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But um, just to look at it as a high level, the US VR, um, VR market is projected to grow uh, to 7.2 billion in 2022, according to a study by PwC Global Entertainment, done between 20 and 2018. Um, another one is uh, that globally, they're gonna uh, grow to about 10 billion in 2022, and that's from DigiCapital and their study. Uh, there's about an estimated user base of 50 million units and growing. Um, and that includes both home and commercial users. So um, my market commercially is VR arcade and lounges, and um, they will pay for custom experiences, uh, much like the gentleman that was talking earlier about, uh, you know, the, the aeronautical experiences for, uh, you know, flight simulation. So um, they're expected to become a $45 billion industry according to Grandview Research. So a couple game projects that I worked on. Uh, Rocket Rider VR, Sewer Blazer, uh, 2D title, uh, and then we have a project codename FGVR currently in the works. Uh, but today I'll talk to you specifically about Rocket Rider VR. Thank you for uh, moving along the slides. Sorry. Um, so Rocket Rider VR, ride your crazy rocket while navigating through asteroid fields and nebula clouds. Uh, in this VR experience, the longer you can go without crashing, the better your score. So uh, it's an HTC Vive experience as an endless rider. <laughs> um, so the value proposition is that it's an immersive, challenging gameplay that keeps uh, players coming back for more. Um, so there's some gameplay screenshots on the next screen. Um, there's a, a player playing this. This was uh, done at uh, GameCon 2018 in Atlantic City. Um, you know, as they're going through the the, rock, uh, the asteroid fields. Uh, the next screenshot, another player. Uh, they really enjoyed this experience. I particularly remember uh, one of the younger kids. They were like, uh, you know, I'm rocket man, baby. It was just it was just awesome to see the kind of feedback uh, that I was getting back from the users. Um, so the traction that I have in the um, currently. Uh, was that we demoed this game at GameCon 2018. We got nominated for Best Audio. Um, kid ate and, ate and up and plus uh, all the adults that were playing this loved the game. Um, and and I, we were invited to SaberCon 2019 at the same time there, uh, which is an invite-only event uh, to showcase our game and um, also kind of face off against other VRs uh, to get nominated for the Saber Award. So our business model is publishing Steam uh, or Itch and we're looking for a revenue of 10 to 15 dollars per copy sold, is just pay uh, once and you own it. And then uh, for the, the VR lounge model, it's kind of a little bit different, not really explored as much. Um, it's with uh, giving some custom support and customized uh, VR experience with a commercial license, which is $15 per machine or user, and then uh, a cut of whatever they charge for uh, that dollar per minute charge out of VR lounge is charged. Um, if you guys have, uh, haven't been to any, uh, there's a VR arcade in, in the Crossgates Mall. 
Um, you know, they have a couple different experiences. I recommend you guys check it out. And um, I will be demoing mine upstairs, uh, as well as, uh, you know, a uh, couple times throughout um, TVGS when they have community night, I'll probably work with them to, to have a demo out. Uh, I'll go there as well. So uh, go to market tariff strategies that we're self-publishing. Uh, we release uh, special versions for the, the VR lounges. Uh, and then we're going to itch.io's uh, Steam VR and Vive port. And the user engagement is going to be done through Patreon, uh, our private Discord server, and showcasing at VR arcades, as well as TVGS. And uh, showcasing at the upcoming CyberCon February, in, um, well, it was supposed to be February 2019, but uh, to be determined now. And uh, we're looking for a platform release on the Steam uh, Q2 of 2019. So uh, finally, my ask uh, is that uh, we're looking for more testers, just people to try out uh, the game and give more feedback. Uh, I'm definitely looking for a Unity C Sharp programmer uh, to join my team. And uh, you can give us a follow on Twitter and Facebook because we're always looking for people to uh, follow and kind of promote our game. And uh, that's pretty much it. Yep. Okay, so the question was, uh, I talked about the VR lounge as a target market, but what is the HTC Vive end user target, or end user uh, user base? Okay, uh, I believe uh, the last time that Steam ran their uh, statistics, I think around uh, 2017, 2018, they had something around 1.2 million users. Thanks everyone.